Yo, what's up guys? I just wanted to make a quick video on uh, what I think is the best way to go about um, crafting, especially in the early game. This is the basics of crafting, like 101, what you're doing, when, uh, what you want to look for when you're in the beginning of the game, how I go about it, and um, the best way to pretty much get what you want uh, every time. So I'll just do something. I got some boots here. Uh, if I'm where I'm at now, where I, I'm going to be using equipment for a while, if I know I'm going to be using these boots for you know a while, it's going to take me a while to upgrade them, then I will, when I put them in, I will immediately go to use quality birth essence for a higher quality on them. If you're not going to be using it or if you're going to be easily replacing things, I would not waste quality birth essences on there. Uh, I'll just do it for now for an example. 13%, that's a pretty solid hit right off the bat. So I'll keep that. And then what I want to do next is use Magic Upgrade Essence. I'm hoping to get three stats or something really good, like a tier 10 stat that I want. Let's say, you know, I do hit like, ooh, I want projectile damage. I'm not going to keep this one. But if I did hit like a T10 projectile damage and I didn't hit my three stats, I would just use uh, the Magic Expansion Box and that will unlock this last stat here uh, without me having to reroll my stats or using you know an extra just whatever like I won't have to do this but I am not gonna keep that so I'm gonna try to go for the three stats so I'll just keep rerolling if I do hit something ooh, I hit a movement speed so if I hit like a t10 on that or something I really wanted I would use the magic upgrade uh, expansion box but I don't want that so I'm just gonna keep going like I normally would hopefully we hit the three stats that we're looking for boom there we go. So it didn't hit what I want. So if I know what I'm looking for, the next step here would be to use a magic fixed essence. And uh, you can craft these in the synthesis. They use these, I think it's like uh, 10, or 10 or so to craft into one of these. And this is the best way to go about crafting so you're not just blindly just spamming this, hoping to get what you want. So at least this way, you're guaranteed what you want. And then if it hits the other stuff that you also want, it makes it a lot easier. So you do most of your crafting here in the blue. So you, you do all the stuff in the magic. So you're not wasting your, your higher grade items for no reason. So if I want, like, let's say movement speed, then I start rolling movement speed. And then it always hits. Ooh, I hit a nine. Cool. So that's a good roll that I would want to keep. So nine is amazing. So now I'll go up here and I'll upgrade it to a rare. So if I want to keep that, then I got uh, these other stats. All right, not bad. Cool. Now I make it rare. Hopefully it would hit more than one extra stat. But uh, after that, then if you also like what you got on the rest of the gear, then you could go for a more rare expansions if you didn't hit six stats. But if not, if you completely brick, then you start the process all over again. You make it back white, you come back over here, you start rolling until you get a either a really good stat or three stats again. And if you hit two good stats, let's say that you really like, <clears throat> and you're like, huh, well I wanna check out this next stat, then I would use a coin. So let's say I want these. Use a coin, it doesn't reroll the other two stats I had on there, and then I get to peek at another thing. So I'm like, all right, cool, then I want that, I'll make it yellow again. Boom, now I hit movement speed. That's what I wanted before. So it just pretty much you just keep doing that over and over if until you just get the stats that you want. Just keep re re restarting this process until you get all the stats you want. Cool, I hit I hit three stats. Let's see what I want what I got here. Alright, it's not what I wanted. Alright, we'll go back to using magic fixed essence for you know movement speed. So we'll roll that again. Not a good roll, then you just keep sending it until you get what you want and then you upgrade it to rare cool and then let's say um, you do hit like see these uh, at the top here it's got that half circle that means it's a prefix and if it has the circle underneath that is a suffix and that's important to know because you can only roll three of each on each item so if you get three of the prefixes and you want a stat that only rolls a prefix then you won't be able to get it until you know you have only two prefixes so you could could use uh, like a prefix option removal so if you want a stat you have three prefixes already rolled on here you won't be able to get that stat now because you can only roll a suffix so the only way to be able to get that is to either use a disintegration essence to get rid of something uh, which you could also do if you get like three stats two of them are all good or one of them's good and you want to risk it to try to reroll for an extra stat 
you could use disintegration essence but it could get rid of the stat that you want but you know it's better than trying to reroll that stat altogether you know so you could use that option or like I said if you get a prefix situation where you're like oh I really need this prefix but you know I don't want to reroll I don't want to use a disin disintegration essence and get rid of maybe a really good stat that I have on my suffixes so then you would roll a prefix option removal essence and then uh, just add another coin to it and unlock that that next stat so you'd get rid of one and then you'd have to identify it again with the rare imbue essence and also you could just re-roll the prefixes so if you get really good suffixes and you only want like to re-roll the prefixes you just use the prefix option birth essence uh, and then it will only roll the prefixes just those three stats or the two like I have here and then it's pretty much the same over here you got the suffix option birth essences so it'll just re-roll my uh, suffixes or I could use a removal and then try to use a coin to you know get the next step that I want and that's pretty much the the basics of the process that I go through uh, this one already has quality on it so if I want to like re-roll an item that already has quality that's even better because you don't have to add it um, also another thing to note is rings and um, you know all of your accessories and jewelry except for your your offhand all of these cannot roll quality so keep that in mind you cannot roll quality on your necklace you can't roll it on your belt or your rings so if you go in here you go to enchant like on a ring and you're like oh or a necklace you're like oh it's not showing I can't do it that's because you can't re-roll it on your jewelry so just keep that in mind otherwise the basics of it is you know get quality if you're gonna be using it for a while if you know that you'll be able to use it for a while if not if it's just early game don't even worry about quality just start re-rolling make it magic you know try to get your three stats or a really good stat so you know okay cool I want these then use this box cool it gives me three items cool I hit t10 on my uh, my physical damage so now I would want to make that you know rare so now you upgrade it rare or if you're like I really like this but I don't like these other two and I don't want to risk making it rare and then you know have to worry about removing these later then you would use a disintegration essence get hopefully get rid of one of the ones you don't want and then you just keep messing with it so do most of your crafting here you can also uh, get the rare fixed essences if you want it. if you get like six stats that's awesome six stats is the minimum I would do uh, to do the rare fixed essences because there's more chances to hit the, the stuff that you want so if you only have four stats I would not use a rare fixed essence uh, unless I just really had you know no other option but I would I would just wait then so try to have six stats if you're gonna roll the rare fixed essences but I don't like messing around with my high grade materials until I really have some GG stuff in all in the blue area here so I'll roll my stats you know I'll try to refine them with a the magic change essence this refines you know the numbers on them with the magic change essence and then you just keep re-rolling all the blues here until you get the stats that you want then you make it rare and then you kind of refine it a little bit maybe you want another uh, expansion box you hit all your GG's so you want to see that next stat or there's one that you can't see so you want to use a coin on it and that's pretty much the basic process start with a white or a good base uh, you come over here you make it magic you mess with it here get your stats that you want make it rare and then uh, just keep refining it from there if you get really GG you know end game start using you know your your birth essence removals and you know stuff like that and maybe even a Vesper uh, stuff like that so I just wanted to go over a video and give you my thought process and uh, how I've been you know crafting the items that I have you know I have some pretty pretty nice items here and you can get all the stats that you want by just following this process it helps a lot in early game don't be afraid to use your materials early game you just just re-roll if you if you get something that's a potential upgrade just start re-rolling it it's not gonna be a waste to use you know these blue stats you'll get so many more end game and uh, you won't even really have to worry about it so don't be afraid of like oh I'm wasting my stats or anything like that just roll it just keep trying to go for upgrades get you through the campaign get you through the content and then when you're farming the chaos dungeon stuff you'll get all those mats back so don't worry about it just keep refining your gear trying to you know get to that next level <clears throat> and uh, you'll be on your way 
Uh, well, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the information in this video. Um, I do stream every single day pretty much on Twitch. I'll have a link to that uh, in the description box below. Feel free to come on by. You know, I'll, I'm always down to answer questions or, you know, help with whatever. We're always hanging out, having a good time. So if you uh, appreciated the knowledge in this video, uh, leave a little like and subscribe, and uh, I'll uh, leave you with that. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your days, evening, morning. Uh, I love you guys a long time, and I will uh, catch you next time. Later, guys.